Karen Alexis. I'm the uh, I'm from the Alexis Dakota School District of Edmonton, uh, Roy area. Hello, hello, check, check, check. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, uh, thank you. Um, I'll be very brief. I want to thank the candidates for coming to meet with us today. Uh, although we are all over from all over Turtle Island in Canada, should any one of you be successful in the next 39 days, you will be voting on national issues, and therefore whatever questions we have is meaningful to you because we'll be voting at the House of Commons. So thank you very much. So my question, very briefly, is uh, the government of Canada spends approximately $17 billion a year on goods, services, and construction. Since PSAP's procurement strategy and Aboriginal business establishment in 1996, 100,000 contracts have been awarded to Aboriginal suppliers with a total value of $3.3 billion, which represents about 143 billion contracts annually, and it's only about 1%, 1% of all government procurement. The government's procurement practices must change to increase opportunities for Indigenous entrepreneurs. Yes, there is an ongoing review, however, nothing has been concretely been established by the Liberal government. So therefore, how will your government work in partnership with NACA, other Indigenous organizations, to increase opportunities for Indigenous businesses to have access to government and Canada procurement contracts? I know as a former leader, we tried to get into that segue into federal contracts and we were stonewalled. The process is flawed. Our people don't have a chance to get into that door and we need to have some changes here. And uh, I heard results happening and closing the gap. I think it's time to move now. Uh, my question is to all four candidates, Chair. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. We'll start at this end. Three. As an NDP member of parliament, I will pursue every avenue to ensure that uh, the procurement process is built towards filling at least 5% uh, procurement from Indigenous businesses and entrepreneurs, but I believe it should be higher than 5% because the government talks a lot about uh, reconciliation. and. What is reconciliation? Reconciliation is recognizing that wrongs have occurred. And part of setting those wrongs right is to ensure that Indigenous people have the opportunity to, uh, to catch up. So we should be aiming for higher than 5%. Uh, so that, that is what I will do as a member of parliament. So I, I really appreciate when you say the process is flawed with our procurement uh, process in Canada. We can see that under the Liberals and our 35 fighter jets and our naval contracts. It's been a huge mess under the Trudeau Liberals. And the Conservatives have made it very clear in this election that we're committed to a transparent procurement process in this country. Um, we all deserve it. And it needs to be fair for everyone. Um, I understand there's a lot of barriers for Indigenous businesses uh, to assessing these contracts, like you've mentioned. And I don't know much about uh, it, to be honest, because I'm so new to politics, but I'm very keen to learn about all of these barriers and making sure that the process um, is apolitical and it's able to um, go from government to government and we're all clear on how we can get um, all of our procurement contracts uh, allocated across this country. Um, and I'll certainly champion any measures as your member of parliament to eliminate any red tape and ensuring that that process is fair and efficient. Thank you. Eddie? Yeah, thank you. Um, it's a good question. I, I think it's an, it's an important what, thing that we need to talk about here. It's not whether one gets contracts or doesn't get contracts. It's about training everyone to be ready. And so we have what is known as the Community Opportunity Business Readiness <coughs> Program, in which we are helping uh, Indigenous businesses and entrepreneurs to build business plans, to be able to start businesses and make them successful. So I, I grew up in a little country called Trinidad in the Caribbean. And I can tell you I grew up in poverty. I lived in social housing until I was about 16. My parents did everything they could to help me to do better than they did because it's not what we all want for our kids. And the one thing they suggested and they did and they sacrificed for me was to give me an education so that I could become able to move forward and make my own decisions and be successful. And so I became a physician. 
and I'm speaking as a physician, but I'm also speaking as how do we get ready to get those contracts? We need to help to get businesses, indigenous businesses and indigenous entrepreneurs to be able to really compete out there for contracts. So that is still a system in developing the skills and the tools and that ability. So this program is already beginning to do that. And so that is one of the things, the ways we will see that procurement able to, to happen. And I, and I am sorry, I don't want to take my gloves off here. I'm trying to be nice. But when I hear the half of the conservatives talking about what they intend to do, for God's sake, they were here for 10 years, and they didn't do a damn thing for indigenous people. Thank you, uh, Jesse. You're on the wrong route. Okay, so Jesse, yeah. Um, something that I really uh, like about the Green Party is uh, our, our values um, around um, looking at the, the government holistically. And so um, Elizabeth May has said a lot about the fact that. Um, the processes, the bureaucrats, and those departments that are making approvals, many of them um, are in the back pocket of the giant corporations and multinationals, um, and they call them their clients. So uh, I think working um, with uh, the government, the bureaucracy, uh, to clean it up, to get uh, out uh, institutionalized racism, to make it easier for quality businesses that are existing currently today to get contracts. Um, anyone who's written a government grant or an RFP knows just how complicated and irritating you have to do. So somehow redefining that system to make sure that indigenous businesses have the same opportunity, if not more opportunity, than multinational corporations um, at getting these contracts.